thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Looks like someone's bedroom. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's one of those pulley things. It's already open. <laughs> what a pretty pussycat. Very Spartan. Very Spartan. All right, paint. Just about done with this. Then I'm grabbing the latest flag design and sewing it up. Then it's bye bye, Betsy. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. A horse is a horse, of course. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Quads. Looks better now. Excuse me. 
Yes. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. Those outhouses? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Does Mrs. Washington know you wear so much makeup? One must wear makeup when one receives the phenomenal amount of media attention that I do. It's quite likely that I'll be president soon, you know. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know.